Welcome back to the channel. My name is Emery. This channel is dedicated to helping you get better at backpacking. So if you're into that kind of thing, no matter what kind of backpacking you do, the skills are all the same. You just apply them in different areas. If you're into that kind of thing, consider sticking around. In this video, I want to talk about an experience I had this last year with these guys right here. These are the Vortex 18 by 56 UHDs. I don't have them in my hand because I borrowed them from a friend. But man, I had a really awesome experience with them this past hunting season that kind of changed the game for me. So I want to share that with you guys in this video today. Before we dive in, I want to mention my backpacking course. It's called Learn How to Backpack. It is dedicated to beginner to intermediate backpackers who are just trying to level up their knowledge base and kind of get through all the struggle and strife that often comes around with learning how to backpack. There are links in the description of the video down below if you want to check that out. And also be sure to check out the Byland podcast. I have a podcast that's been going on for quite a while now. Links are also in the description of the video as well. Okay, so the binos. Real quick, I'll just level the playing field. I have never been much of an optics guy. I use a pair of eight power vortex razor binoculars that i always keep on my chest and the reason being is because i don't really do a lot of glassing where i hunt it's really thick foliage i always hunt the timber but i had a hunt coming up where i was going to be doing a lot more glassing and eight powers just aren't really going to do it for me so i reached out to a buddy of mine Corey ford from angry spike productions and i said do you know anyone that has these he said well i do i was like do you think you'd let me borrow them he said yes so i did and I was completely blown away. What happened was I went um, to this kind of overlook and I was glassing this big hillside. And within 15 to 20 minutes of sitting down, I put them on a tripod because you can't really handhold these kind of uh, powerful binoculars. And within 15 to 20 minutes, I spotted a bedded buck in some really dense foliage about 700, maybe 750 yards away. and. I was blown away. I pulled up my eight powers and I was like, nope, I wouldn't be able to see him at all. Within the next hour or so, I spotted um, a couple of does, another buck, and then the following morning, I spotted another buck with a couple of does. So within a day and a half, I had spotted three really nice blacktail bucks, which if you've ever hunted blacktail, they're very hard to find. And they were in some really dense foliage but with the power of these 18 by 56 Vortex UHDs, it didn't really seem like a problem at all. I was blown away and it, it, it really did change the game for me. Now, if you know me, I have two rules for buying gear. One, it's gotta really move the needle for me, like change the game type stuff, or it's gotta be really, really fun to purchase because gear is fun, right? Well, this basically checks off both boxes for me. And I remember sending Corey a text and I was like, I'm in trouble. These binos are absolutely incredible. They changed the game for me. So where I'm at with this thing is, I've never really been much of a spotter kind of guy. I, I remember I bought a, a pair back in the day. I used it and I really wasn't into it because I really like having that big field of view. Now, I think binos are a really great option for someone like me who I'm not counting points, I'm not counting age. I'm just trying to glass up an animal from a distance, find out if I want to go after it or not, and and make my decision from there. Pairing an 18 power binocular with a pair of eights seemed to work really well for me. Again, I hunt the timber a lot and I don't do a ton of glassing, but when I do, it's always gonna be at a distance. So for me, I really think this system going forward, if I choose to purchase them, I don't, I don't own a pair currently, but man, they're on my wish list because of how impactful they are. Now, I say that because if I would have just gone up to this glassing point with a pair of eights, I would have never seen any of these deer. And if I did point out a deer, I wouldn't have been able to tell how old they were or if they were worth going after. That is where the 18s come in handy. And I think you could probably get away with a pair of 15s as well. Depending on your situation, the effective range of spotting an animal and understanding what it is and where it's at and what it's doing, I'm guessing it's, I was probably at the, at the far end of that range. Um, if I'm just spotting animals, probably I could go a little bit further, maybe like a thousand yards or so. But I felt like seven to 800, maybe 900 yards was probably the max range of being able to tell that there is an animal and to be able to tell how old the animal is, which for me works perfectly. I did have a guy with me that had a spotter, so we were able to zoom in on the animal. And boy, if you got a buddy, one of you has 18s, one of you has a spotter, 
you'd have the entire area covered. So once I would spot a deer, he would kind of put the spotter on it, zoom in, monitor, and I'd continue glassing. And that pair of 18s spotted every single deer we saw on that trip. Like I said, I had a pair of eights, really couldn't spot any deer unless they were really close. And my buddy had a pair of tens, I believe, and he had a really difficult time spotting those deer. So if you're in my kind of situation, maybe this is a good solution for you, a pair of 18s, maybe 15s. Um, I think any brand would probably work. As you get to distance, you probably want the best glass possible. I think that's just a very common theme. Always try to purchase the best glass you can because the better glass, the better optics, the better viewing pleasure and all that kind of thing. That's pretty much it. I just want to share with you guys that those 18 by 56 from Vortex were absolutely a game changer and they're definitely on my list going forward. And I think that if you're in my situation, you could really benefit from them. They kind of bridge that gap between a spotter and binos. So that's it. If you have any questions at all, be sure to hit me up in the comments. You can also uh, reach me at emery at byland.co. Please visit the website. I have a ton of articles on hunting, backpacking, specifically backpacking, but it spreads the gap between through hiking, regular backpacking, and, and hunting as well. So be sure to check out the course in the notes of this video, beginner backpacking, Everything you need to know, 60 short video tutorials that'll get you up and going really, really quickly. And don't forget about the podcast, and I'll leave it at that. If you're headed out on an adventure anytime soon, be safe, make great decisions, and we'll see you next time.